Hello everyone, welcome to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Playing this in honor of Dial of Destiny. Coming out. There you go. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. It's funny seeing this. For the first time in my life, I'm recognizing that DuckTales ripped off that, that font, that logo style and everything. Same colors. DuckTales. Come on. Oh well, if you're gonna rip something off, might as well be the best with Indiana Jones. Gotta give a shout out to friend of the channel, Jester of Fortune, for gifting me this game, making this possible. This, uh, this is a big request. Folks have been asking for this for a while, so let's get into it. Alright, Jones. How are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? It's not a bad Harrison Ford impersonation, if that's what they're going I assume that's what they're going for. But yeah, let's see if we can't find... Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Stupid Marcus. That's a statue? It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Ah. Any, uh... Moon Knight fans out there? Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. <laughs> How did Marcus ever make tenure? Some kind of funeral or... Some kind. Oh, here we go. It's a stone carving of Shiva. How many statues got in here? Peculiar statue. There you go. It's been a while. Oh! And then those classic hat Oof. physics. Classic Indiana Jones hat physics. <laughs> Indiana Jones died that day. <laughs> the darkest intro to a point-and-click game ever recorded. He actually is. He's not moving. <laughs> Indy? Okay, good. Alright. Uh, about that statue. Let's try this again. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. <laughs> Marcus falls down a lot. I like Marcus. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Obviously. This is a Lucas Arts game, by the way, in case you couldn't the label tell. Says unidentified pot shirts. Should I get around to identifying them in time? Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Obviously. What are we looking here? Ooh, rope. Indy loves his rope. Are we just, like, Mr. Magoo in this game? <laughs> it's like, the like Indiana Jones, the clumsy years. <laughs> and we died again, apparently. <laughs> we just need to get in, like, five names while India works off his concussion. His latest concussion. Books on tools. Books on pots. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Someone's awful sure in their knowledge of pottery. Weapons. Oh, yeah. There's nothing of importance here. Books on statues. Well, if you can't find the real thing, right? These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Indiana Jones is played by uh, Don Knotts in this version. <laughs> Constantly falling ass backwards into the solutions. Oh, Magoo. You better get that roof checked. Yeah, better get that head checked after this. Oh, hold on. It's a book ready to fall. Let's get that whip out. It's a book ready to fall. Yeah. Magoo iteration of Indy does not use the whip. Cat figure. Possibly an ancient Mesopotamian cat god. Possibly. <laughs> I definitely jumped. Oh god, doing this live. Doug Lee is in here. Good job, Doug Lee. You know what? He's not like cheesing it up. He's not going for like the full Harrison. Just like uh, there's shades of Harrison in there. What if Harrison Ford really wanted to do this job? I really want to the audio for this LucasArts game based on Indiana Jones. It's hot. Belongs in a museum. Left locker. Middle locker. We're gonna have to hide. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Who stole it? 
Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. This is the same Marcus we were talking about earlier. I muse. Good music in this game. Just another day in the office for Indy. Indiana Magoo. <laughs> Half expecting to get hit by a dump truck crossing the street. I'm back. Indy? Five concussions later. Well, I fell down a lot. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? I used to know. Smith. Tell me. Could've guessed. You find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Let's open it. it Why belongs. not? It's an obvious fake. Oh. You may think so, Doctor. But I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. Man, that's not the guy that voiced Ludger Brink in the dig, was My it? My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you <gasps> won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Stand <laughs> back, gentlemen. <laughs> really, Mr. Smith. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need So me. British. Hmm. What is fakes? Get him, Eddie! Ah! Yeah! Oh. Mmm, stock sound effects. Had some of those in Space Quest V. <gasps> he got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? You're always collecting coats, Jones. Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. Yeah, he looks super evil. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Huh. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Nice. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first Who's... real job. Who's that? Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. Very pretty. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. Interesting. You say that again. Interesting career path. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. Not while I'm using. You're right. Oh, changing. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Wait, that's not an ooh situation. All right. From Barnett College to New York City. Our adventure begins. You can see the familiar scum soft kind of uh, <laughs> interface down here. You got your monkey islands and, you know, I guess to a lesser extent, full throttle and a dig. So many classic games. All right, yeah, here we are in Scum Virtual Machine. Let's go indie. And away we go. Madame Sophia tonight. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. She's doing all right for herself, eh? Um. No seats, no standing room, no exceptions. This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. <laughs> it's just a picture, Indy. Just because she's looking in that direction at you with that expression doesn't mean she likes you. Let's try the old phone booth. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Did you bring anything with you to New York except for this? Okay. I guess not. Garbage can? If 
entire escape. I think one of the things I like about this game is there's like multiple ways to do everything, and there's even different paths, which kind of kind of the overarching like it's path that you take. So it encourages the way, the way re it looks blocked. replay value. Hmm, it's unlocked. There you go. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Uh, you Darwinian nightmare. Yeah, I'm here to enjoy her outrageous I'm orations. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. <laughs> Just let me in, you ape. All right, Andy, come on. I'm told she postulates. Really? I'm told she postulates on stage. That's a bald lie, and you better apologize for spreading it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why, you fat Apology tub of lard? Accepted. Now shove off! Good night. Good night. Same to you. There you go. There's gotta be okay. some way to talk my way in. I seem to remember being able to like push it's these. A, it's a crate. Pushing these out of the way. Push. <laughs> Let's try that. There we go. The way looks blocked. For now. The way looks blocked. For now. I can't reach it. 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 Oh, here we go. The way looks blocked. Hard to judge with the uh, what's stacked where. It won't go any further. The way looks blocked. The way looks blocked. Right, the way looks it? blocked. What's in your way now? That one? Okay. There we go. That is some expert level crate push in there, Indy. Huh? You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was yeah. such a pushover. Was he? I couldn't talk my way past him. <laughs> Call that fraud over here, will you? I don't know. I think there there might still be a chance with us. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Getting flashbacks and messing with uh, Adrian Ripberger's presentation. <laughs> this next slide shows our more aggressive strategy. Hmm, levers, you say? Hey! Hey! Think it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous. Socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. That's out of Space Quest 5. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries Jenna. later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. <laughs> she's amazing. Now I'm walking out there. Wait! She's just coming to the exciting part. <sighs> what these t-shirts made of cotton? City? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or... Bummer. Perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. Looks like... I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. 
I'm going out to talk. I know her. It's Hold okay. On. Ugh. She's still talking. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We need to distract this guy here. Why do I keep looking at her? <laughs> Why do I keep looking at her? She's fetching. Here, take this. Excuse me. Leave me alone. Yeah, what now? Let me mess with your I've levers. Got a magazine here. In exchange for this magazine. So you do. <laughs> so you do. <sighs> Aren't you wondering how I met this woman? Nope. I got other things to worry about. Like these three levers. Yeah, but... Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Sounds kinda sad and lonely. Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. Well then, let's cycle back to. Uh, what if I give you something to read? <laughs> Will you let me ruin? I might take a look. <laughs> you let me do something that's going to get you fired. In that case, read this. Here. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Oh, guess we need to give him something else. All right, hold on. One second. I'll be back. Something we can grab around here. Here we go. A little newspaper. There we go. Who doesn't want to keep up with the, you know, the haps? Is that just open now? Oh, that's handy. Okay. There you go, man. You don't want to look at me. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? <laughs> Good at your job, man. All right. Time to go give her the full Rip Burger treatment. Button. 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 Hmm. Nothing happened. All right. Let's see. Which one of these got to pull? It won't go any further in that direction. Let's try pushing it. There we go. Let's give you a push. Yeah, let's give you a push. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh, <laughs> may I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. of missing his cue. Oh, that, that joke. Thanks, Fifty. Indiana Jones! Ancient god of. got some nerve. blown cues. Back in the jack o' lantern. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, great. Good night, folks. <laughs> no one's getting up. That's the best part. They're all sitting there being like, Come on, mister. I've got paid, a few words to mince. Paid $7,000 for this seat. I'd say it's about time. All right. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No, I'm just a pig. No one here. Nor here either. <laughs> Excellent detective work, Indy. <gasps> Ooh. What a sneaky rise. I thought I got your coat. Dr. What gives? Uberman. Fantastic new. We found the treasure we see. Damn you, Lutka Brink. He was an archaeologist, too, come to think of it. That's the second Before time Archaeologist Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces a plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Hmm. Won't even light a match. <laughs> Bigger picture? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist.
yet you've been dealing goods on the black market. Mm-hmm. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look they for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. They belong in a museum. <laughs> what do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. Whoa. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. I had one of those when I was a kid. Didn't do that. Wow. Whoa. All right. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is that your big closer at the show? Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Uh, I'm not interested. Yeah. Indy doesn't go out for that stuff. It's all based in science and history and facts. And I'm not interested in spiritual mumbo jumbo. That's just his character. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. <laughs> we have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. <sighs> Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... what? Oh, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. I... That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Mm. Wouldn't be good. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Nice. Back together again. So... F to Iceland. So polling the audience right now, seeing uh, what folks think, which path we should pursue once we get there. Wits, team, where we kind of work together with Sophia. Um, and then I don't really want to do fists, so I'll do wits. Wits or team. That's basically how I'm approaching it. I think those are the two more interesting ones. You get like, I think you get more interesting puzzles with Wits, but you get some nice, you, just different stuff with Sophia, I don't know. So, uh, let's see, it's just the encampment. It looks like someone's still living here. Huh. Check the dig site itself. Lovely day here in Iceland. Dr. Bjorn Heimdall. Hello? Pardon me. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. I know that voice too. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Obviously. I think we need to, like, turn down the music just a little bit more. Or maybe turn the, the speech up a bit more, too. I think that's a better mix for us. Don't want to miss this dialogue. So long. Wait, no. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dr. Heimdall. You Psych. Again. Must you buy your me? Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt and Tikal, a shady fellow, who Tikal. translated the whole thing. 
and Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp trader. What was that about the lost dialogue? Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. What are you doing here, Dr. Heimdall? Investigating the land the Greeks called Hyperborea. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! Hmm. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were repaired by ghosts. Huh. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an She's idea. the ghost expert between the two but of us. I'll just tell you. He was stuck by a first. I don't acknowledge but if women. I not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Well, why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Alright, that's one explanation. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Why, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Huh. Go ahead, blame it all on me. She kinda messes with her hair quite a bit. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you went. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. Yeah. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here. Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Hmm. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Not all that. Sophia. Let's talk over here. What's on your mind? Trust this guy. I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say spaceman my eye. <laughs> That's it? You want me to like whip this thing out? It could be useful in the right spot. Whip this thing out. Here we go. I don't think that'll work. Ah, okay. Hello. Anything else to talk to Bjorn you about? Must you buy your me? Buy your. Mm. So long. Guess that's everything. Good luck, fellow believer. Yeah, have an ice day, Bjorn. There you go, Matthew. Credit for that. Can I do the double click to get out of here faster? Nah. What a nice feature they added later on. All right, what do you make of all this, Soph? Listen. Yes? Cold enough for you? <laughs> Sound it more Even important. Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. Damn, that is cold. What do we do now? Let's find Costa and Sternhart. Yeah, I agree. All right, I guess that's everything. Let's save this as Bjorn, just in case we need to come back this way. Let's head for the airport. Short visit to Iceland, eh? Now oh, I guess I get my pick now. All right, they said they were in uh, Tikal. Who's paying for all this? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.